Hello there everyone and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I am your host Jag Thunder and this is Minecraft. In this video I'm going to show you how to mod out your 1.0 Minecraft game. The mods that we'll be focusing on are Better Than Wolves, Zom's Mod Pack, Too Many Items, and HD Texture Packs. To mod your Minecraft game, you'll have to do it exactly the way I do it in this video. You'll also have to check the links for the description for the exact mods that you'll be needing. As always, before you mod anything in your Minecraft folder, be sure to back your shit up. Uh, I can't say that enough and I can't stress that enough. If you do not back it up, do not blame me for your save files and your other mods to be fucking gone. Alright, with that being said, let's go ahead and show you what mod you'll be needing. You're going to need the Better Than Wolves mod 3-46. The latest MC Patcher as to date, 2.3.01, the latest mod loader. You'll also need single player commands, version 3.0.1, too many items, 11-11-29, and Zom's mod pack version 5.8. We're going to start by finding your .minecraft folder. Go to your run command and type in percent app data percent and you'll have a dot minecraft folder should be at the top this is where you want to back it up i usually cut it and i usually paste it to the desktop or i put it in another folder that completely removes everything minecraft related in your roaming folder clear that out and open up your game when you open up your game and you start it up you'll get a brand new jar folder and all your new files once the game loads up you're good to go close it back out and make sure it's closed before modding go back to your percent app data percent your dot minecraft folder and now it's fresh and ready for modding open this one up right here and go to the bin folder and find your minecraft jar which is this one right here click on it and open it up with rinrar or winzip or whatever you have and immediately delete the meta imp folder that's the very first thing you should do before modding uh, once that's gone start with mod loader and like I said assuming that you've done modding before you should know how to do this uh, so basically, just to get things a little organized here, and you're going to open up the, mine, uh, the Minecraft jar folder, and then you're going to open up Mod Loader, and you're going to dump in all the class files. So click the top file, hold Shift, click the bottom file, drop and drag it into the Minecraft jar folder. The next one that you want to do is the Better Than Wolves mod. Open that one up. You want the Minecraft jar folder. Open that and grab everything inside, including the folders at the top. Go all the way to the bottom, hold Shift and drag them in. You click OK and close that one out and the next one we need is Zom's mod pack. Now you want the class file so open up the classes folder click go to the bottom shift hold it and drop it in. And then the next one that we need is we need to do too many items. Same thing grab all the class files you can leave the PNG you don't need that shit. Drop that in click OK close that out and now it's time to use MC Patcher so I close that out for a second and we're gonna run MC Patcher and you're gonna get an error it's gonna say your your folders already been modded just click OK whatever the fuck and you can pick better grass fonts textures mobs I just click them all and click patch and that will be able to so you can run high uh, HD texture packs now uh, go back percent app data or if you got it minimized bring it back up your dot minecraft folder open that back up go back to your bin now you have two jar files you still want the minecraft one you don't want the 1.0 one so you want to be make sure you're working in the right folder uh, the next one is single player commands you want everything in here but the world edit jar um, leave that for later we'll, I'll show you where to put that and the readme text at the bottom you don't need that bullshit either uh, drop that in click OK um, leave the uh, the single player commands open go back to the roaming and you want to drop the world edit jar in with where the minecraft jar and the 1.0.0 is um, you'll need that uh, close that out and then the next thing you want to do is you want to go back to back uh, one folder the roaming dot minecraft and make a new folder called mods lowercase mods open it make a new folder call it zomb z o m b e lowercase and this is where you're going to put your config files for your uh, Zom mod pack. So you're going to open that back up and grab the config folder. And then grab everything inside. And then just drag it and drop it into that new folder that you named Zomb. Close it out. And then you're going to grab the config file. And that's where you configure your Zom mod pack. 
And the biggest reason I like to use Zom's mod pack is basically for the flying and the no clip. Uh, I like how it handles it better than the single player commands. Uh, so basically inside this config folder, if you open it with notepad, um, you just scroll on down uh, the, and also the build mode. Uh, you can destroy blocks real quick with one hit. Uh, basically where it says mod build enabled, there's a number sign there. Just delete that. Um, and then you can set up your digging speed, your distance where you can reach. Um, I usually set it to like 30 or 40. Um, and you'll have to readjust that in game and I'll show you that here in just a minute. Uh, the crafting mod, don't mess with that. I've heard that it messes stuff up in the past ones. Your fly mod, like I said, where it says mod fly enabled, just delete the, um, the number sign and then assign your, your keys. Mine are J, N, and M. Um, no clip, make sure no clip is yes and not no. And then your running speed, your vertical speed, and all that. You can just kind of mess around with those numbers and get them where you think they look good. Uh, I also use the sun mod, which actually you don't need now because you can actually control that with too many items. And also um, the single player commands, uh, commands. So that's a little redundant, so you don't actually need to um, do that one. So go ahead and log into your game, and everything should load up fine if you've done everything right. Uh, load into your game. Uh, I create a new world. I don't put any of my world saves or my texture packs in quite yet. I just get the game up and running and make sure, as you can see, I got single player commands. And there are my too many items. Now, too many, my, uh, too many items has these little weird um, hieroglyphic things at the top. I guess they're supposed to be like page numbers or something. And then also over here, this is the other mods that's uh, with it now. Uh, you can turn the rain on and off. You can set the sun to sunrise, noon, uh, sunset, midnight, and uh, I don't know why you'd need those. Just basically, you want uh, sunrise, I guess. So you can just go ahead and do it there now. Now just click the key that you um, put for flying, which mine is J, and as you can see the no clip, I fly right through shit. Uh, like I said, the no clip for the single player commands is, is real blocky and I don't like it. I like this a lot better. I can go through things and actually see all the dungeons and uh, where all the lava is. And as you can see here, I put builder mode on and the it, it won't reach. So I use single player commands to do slash reach 30 and the blocks um, automatically just smash away. Uh, single player commands you can do this too um, so you don't really need Zom's mod pack to do all this but uh, like I said I like to I like to mix and match them because I like functions of each one uh, individually and then working together. So if you got that far and you got it running congratulations. Uh, it's a lot easier now in 1.0 than it was in 1.81 if you watched my tutorial on that. You needed Forge and also Zom's Forge pack and it was real complicated so I was real happy to see that this was a lot easier to figure out than it was in 1.81 now basically at this point just go ahead and throw all your save files in and uh, all your texture packs load it up and have a damn good time so anyways I appreciate you watching my tutorial remember rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter links in the description and we'll see you on the next one later